Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on my adventure to Varangir, northernmost Arctic Norway. The goal for tonight is to photograph white hares. Now typically these are really shy and uh, are rather difficult to photograph, also because they're mostly nocturnal. But my good friend uh, Shalg, who I'm staying with and travelling with, he has a hide here uh, that he rents out. A few hares which he feeds, have gotten used to this place and regularly come here. By attracting the local mountain hares with a midnight snack and through the use of artificial light, Shalg has made it possible to capture images that would be virtually impossible elsewhere. As darkness fell over the Arctic tundra, we made our last preparations before retreating to the warmth and coziness of Shalg's photography hide. We've just spent the past two hours uh, shoveling snow, setting up the lights, fine-tuning the lights, and uh, making sure everything is uh, set, and making sure that everything so looks... Oh, well. Two. Two, two hairs. Three hairs already. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, we've just spent uh, the past two hours making sure everything's perfect for when the hairs come. And I was just about to say that it's time for the waiting game to commence, but maybe we won't have to wait too long after all.
Earlier on, I photographed uh, Arctic hares together with Shalg in his uh, hide, uh, and we did so under the darkness of night. But I have yet to photograph white hares in natural daylight. So that is the goal for this session, to hopefully find and photograph the Arctic hares in their white landscape. tracks almost everywhere so that's at least a very good start Sitter en på nedsida där After no more than 5 minutes of searching uh Shalg has spotted our first hare of today and so we're just planning out how we're going to try and approach it so I think we're going to go around to try and sneak up behind it. This is very exciting. We've decided to go for a strategy of splitting up. Uh, so Shalg is going to try and approach whereas I'm laying down opposite of him so that if he spooks the hare it might come over in my direction. So now it's just a waiting game. Hey, yo. So Tobias just went off left me here alone would you so i'll have to entertain you until he's back which could take a while you want to hear a joke nikon the hair seems to be very much on the alert so i need to try and keep a low profile and make sure he doesn't notice me He's moving. And there he's gone. <laughs> that was really quick. But what a cool experience. It went about, say, 50 meters away and just uh, gave me its profile. And uh, I think I got a nice image where it stood up on its hind legs to scan out over the area before it disappeared. Oh, here comes some snow buntings. <laughs> it's funny how when you just lie down and stay still for a little while, nature seems to forget that you're there and you start to become a part of nature. And so just like that, a flock of snow buntings came right over my head. But here you go, here is the final image of the hare before it disappeared. Shalg has just spotted yet another hare. So since the the technique seemed to kind of work, I think we're gonna go for that once more. And now I'm stationing myself behind this rock for some extra cover. And I'll just be waiting and seeing if maybe the hare comes my way, which would be really exciting. And also in the background, there are these snow-covered mountains, so if I'm really lucky, he could line up with those and I can try and make some interesting environmental images. But we'll see. I have high hopes, but not too high expectations. Let's see how this goes. Shalg just sent me a message and uh, showed me some footage he just got, and he's got two hairs just in front of him. So this is really cool. Maybe they'll come over here. There's a purple sandpiper in flight. I want to get him against the mountains. Nope. That didn't work out. There's one coming my way now. Let's see if I can show you. Just standing on 
his hind legs now. Now that I've already gotten the one image that I was determined to capture on this trip, which was a whiteout hare in action, now I can start focusing on uh, creating other images. Another image that I'd really like to try to make happen is an image of a hare with a dark blue background because I love the way that uh, bright white goes against dark rich blue. And at the moment, we have some quite dark clouds this way. So, I'm trying to find some hairs and somehow manage to line them up with the horizon without them getting spooked. Who knows? Maybe I might manage to materialize the imagined image. means the end of yet another fantastic day of photography here in the Arctic. I hope you've enjoyed watching and coming along on this little adventure with me and uh, make sure to stay tuned for the continuation of it.